Hello everyone. Today I will try to explain usage of Argo CD with custom resource definition application set. Famous custom resource definition of Argo CD actually is applications and app project, which you can get tons of information even about application set from official page, of course. From my point of view, Argo CD official documentation is very clear. Maybe you will face some issue at the deployment time, but honestly, even with that, you, you will get correct answer from log outputs of each of the service Argo CD and it will be easy to search in internet in Google to get answer of them. You will find all answers from Google at the deployment time, I'm pretty sure about that. But about application set from official documentation, you will get tons of information too. What is application set? I'm trying to explain. It's generator of applications itself. From the screen which you see right now, it's on chart with two range of application which we see right now, application set and application set, which going to generate applications at the pull request time. So what does it mean at the pull request time? Let me open page. So from this flow, we can see we, we have some repo, which inside of this repo we, we have some front application. But our QA engineers and developers needs to deploy each time by change of feature request new version of application to not come to ask to Ops Engineers, could you please deploy it again? And do that, just imagine we have some repository with the name GitHub or name App Service, and developers going to create new branch with a style like as branch name. Branch name in our case it is task name of the project name of the Jira and 1000 Actually, it's a ticket number in our case, but when you will create a pull request, pull request is going to generate, of course, increment number uh, to append to branch name, of course. And just imagine QA engineer going, or developer, it doesn't matter, going to create uh, one branch with style, which I said before, because it, it will be easy to track by ticket project number, ticket number, and it, it will be the same in branch name, of course. And then push to branch to remote repository, and uh, when it's going to, to be created like a pull request, definitely we must define label preview because in my case I will show you I've created label like a preview which will be triggered. So just imagine we have repository which in this repository I have created. Right now you see preview label in the pull request. I will not create a new one because uh, it will take a long time. It's not a discussion of this topic because uh, you must research about that. What I want to say, uh, in Google Cloud have Cloud Build, which Cloud Build already integrated with this repository and Cloud Build YAML will go to be triggered at the commit time and Cloud Build go going to prepare image, check something stuff and push to output of the prepared image to remote Google Artifactory registry with the digest way, I mean branch with commit hash of course. And right now I will not to trigger this. The mo most important part of this, as I said before, preview, because inside of application set, all this code files of course will be present in Git repository, which I write in medium too. Let me show the part what I mean. So label preview will be iterated inside of application set as here to generate style uh, which going to create by branch name pull request number like as a record of domain name which we will see in the output of slack of course so from this output i can we can see i'm using at the same time argo the server argo the notification controller application set controller argo the image updater and of course, notification control will, will inform the change to different Slack channels, like as, for example, if app created, if its state succeed, healthy, it will be informed to review apps. It's deleted or degraded or unknown state, it will be uh, informed to the web review apps too. Of course, I will analyze all code lines to show all this stuff to you. But just imagine developer going to create new branch. From this branch, as I showed before, pull request with the label preview, and then it's going to be triggered 
firstly, of course, from this repository, going to read Cloud Build YAML trigger. Cloud Build YAML going to prepare image, push to, as we see here, Google Artifact Registry. Argus the image updater at the same time analyzing Artifact Registry to see really some image changed for this branch which we created for request. If it is changed, it's going back to inform Argo CD Helm chart inside of Argo CD uh, server to deploy only this tag which pushed to Argo CD artifact registry. And we can see from output of this string which I wrote, I mean uh, this part of the screen, when Argo CD image updater going to check and find new version of image, it's going to create file inside of main main branch Helm chart repo of Argo CD with a style like as dot Argo CD minus source minus branch name pull request number dot YAML file. Honestly, I have tried to find an answer from Google how can I clean these files because just imagine uh, from day to day, four or seven, it doesn't matter. A lot of developers can create pull requests and each time for each Helm chart folder pass. So main repo of Argo CD, it's going to create by each of pull requests such kind of branch. But when this pull request will be will be deleted or closed or merged, these files will not be deleted, but I created with this stuff another quotes too, which I will explain right now. And when, of course, just imagine you created pull request, it's created new image, it's deployed to Argo CD server, notified Slack channel. At the same time, if developer will create a, in the discussion of this pull request, new commit to the same uh, branch which created pull request, of course, the image change will be notified by image updater and pushed inform to Argo CD server to deploy latest image hash of branch which created pull request inside of Argus server. So, I mean, even change uh, inside of this PR will be deployed at the same time to the same applications by which created by application set. So, just imagine developer going to check out new branch, create pull request, art image updater, Argus image updater going to analyze artifact registry, inform Argus CD server, deploy here, push back inside of this file Argo CD source style branch name PR number YAML file and notify Argo CD notification controller to inform Slack channel. And right now I will go to reopen the same pull request which I created before. I, I will not do it from scratch because the application which I am going to reopen pull request very huge and it will take long time to create all this stuff. I'm just going back press to button, reopen pull request. And even from this page, we can see right now we have one, two, three, five, six, six application for this application. I mean, all of these PR branch name, for example, an5997 uh, affirm message, it's a branch name. And this part is pull request number. As you see, it is created an informed Slack channel about creation of recording branch with pull request numbers. Uh, 16,899 has been created and even from this part we can see this part we can see a few seconds ago it is created so even if I will go to select channel to see review apps as I said before it is going to generate domain of of course um, Argo CD page at the same time it is going to generate the real URL of application which is going to be deployed right now it's deployed inside of Kubernetes and if I will click not this one it's Argo CD itself if I will click this one it's it will be redirected to main page of real application created by pull request I'm clicking to this one you can see we get page for application which deployed right now. So each time when developers going to create new request, it is going to, deploy, going to be deployed inside of Kubernetes cluster via Argo CD to the version where defined branch uh, of developer. So it is actually deployed, but which which part is very important, I, I, I must to say about this. Look at this, Argo CD source application set 11 YAML and if I will go back to code folder, just imagine it is 
code folder of our application, as you see from this part, it is created by image updater to compare each time change of by branch uh, our our pull request. But Argo CD is not going to to delete it. I mean, Argo CD going to be triggered at the pull request creation time, going to be triggered at the change time in the same pull request from branch which we created. Of course, if new, if new commit will come, it's going to be triggered again and inform Argo CD to pull latest image inside of the same application which created application set. It's going to be triggered if merge request, uh, pull request will be merged to, to the main. It's going to be triggered if I will close, of course. If I will close or merge, the same application which created by application set going to be deleted. But in case of deleted, as you see, it's not going to clean chart repo where place deployment files. At the same time, the second one is the same. It is here. But do that, I created this folder which you can get and use this uh, from repository which I will define in GitHub in Medium 2. So what what it does, I will not go in, t in deep because I wrote a lot of inside of uh, README 2. It's just Docker container with bash, which uh, when I try to research and get answer how can I do this, I read the API of GitHub at the same time I read the API of Argo CD. So what, what I'm doing, I'm going to collect with a regex pattern which start with style that Argo CD minus source. And iterate all, all of them by each of front application to compare it. If it's exists in Argo CD like as application, I'm not going to touch it. If it's not, I'm going to delete this one. So this Docker container will work like as a grunt job inside of Kubernetes each one hour. It doesn't matter. You can configure it as you wish. And it's going to get four environment variables, GitHub user, GitHub token, Argo CD user, Argo CD pass to compare and delete unneeded unneeded files from there. Even from commit output we can understand how it works. As you see build automatic update it is it comes from Argo CD image updater. This part is uh, comes from cron job which deleted unused files which we don't need even from here we can find it's going to delete all un, un, unused files. So we can close this part of course which was stimulated already. To get us where I'm going to close this part too. At the same time, uh, what I can show, I, I want to little bit explain the part which I've used. So this folder responsible for, we can find of course manifest file here, we can see it's going to get image to deploy inside of Kubernetes cluster with a time range which it will define, it doesn't matter and well, you can create, of course, as I said before, a Docker container from this Docker file, all code files present here. And this is important config maps because I didn't say this part. We have integrated Argo CD with OpenID Google Cloud. I mean, if you will click to log in via Google, it's going to be redirected to Google Cloud to get my credentials and going to back to log into Argo CD. So right now we can see we have a recording. I will go to press button, close pull request. It will be triggered to delete recording application, of course. At the same time, we will get information uh, from Slack channel too. So, but but do this time, give me to switch to codes to explain what I did here. So most important part of Argo CD uh, to integrate. Of course, it's a config maps. As you see, as I said before, it will inform about delete information to a totally different Slack channel. It is DevOps review apps. We can see it is deleted, but about health state, synced state, it will be generated to send to review apps channel, of course, which I showed before. So it's not important for us right now. I am integrated uh, Google. Argo CD with Google Cloud, it is configuration and one of the most com important Argo CD is all, all secrets and config maps. It's one of them Argo CD CM, which, which going to be used Argo CD server itself. And parameters, why I'm showing this part, without debug level it will be very hard to debug to understand what's going on. That's why I am mentioning this part to you to use uh, inside of config map. 
it is image updater pass uh, to show to where from where it can get che check changes and one of the important parts of course it is notification cm i i, I will try to explain uh, i mean to spend more time on this i will return back to this part of course this is role based access control most important part you must read definitely about this from official page so all of users is only in our case, all the DevOps engineers can, can delete or update any component inside of Argo CD page. Of course, you can integrate with GitHub too, but in our case, I, I, I have tested both of them. It works with GitHub at the same time, like as OpenID in Google Cloud too, but right now it's not important for us. So give me time to switch back to notification part. As you see, and we can find even from review app 2 this URL and this part generated by Argus the notification, how it is generated. As you see, we can define inside of Argus the notifications config map uh, variables which we use inside of uh, parts. But I want to mention the most important part. It is application set itself with values which created, we can see from this page, even it is still delete, going to be deleted. If it's now it is deleted, we can see recording branch with pull request number and not exist here. And this application set created by this Helm chart. And this Helm chart going to iterate for each of this application to deploy this application set. And inside of this application set, we can see annotations which will inform. Argo CD image updater and uh, Argo CD image updater using write back method, method with a secret uh, which will be used to inform GitHub back and store inside of file Argo CD source branch, num branch name workers number dot yaml file to compare the latest version. And this is actually variable which I am using inside of, uh, inside of template which I showed before notification CM to generate URL for both of them. If I will do search here, you will find this is actually context which comes from here, app protocol, this protocol, app metadata annotations, app subdomain comes from application set itself and context subdomain comes from here actually. So as I showed before, it comes from here, but from here I can use internal variable of application set. It is branch name, pull request number, at the same time, VName comes from iterations of values. So, as I showed before, when I'm going to create pull request, it is going to trigger Argo CD and all this magic starting to work at this time, actually. So, that's it, actually. I hope it will be useful for all of us. Thank you for watching.